third game of a three game homestand for the Clippers looking for win number 11 in the process they'll go up against a very good jazz squad tonight's game presented by your Southern California Lexus dealers are outscored the Clipper bench 33 22 in that game Olenek gives to Vanderbilt he too was absent in that game two weeks ago Let's start things off fine let me ask you where do you think the 34 points that Paul George scored, scored against him comes from Vanderbilt started the last game and played very well with 14 points against the Jazz. Marcus Morris Sr. will certainly for the Jazz. There are some yellow notes unintended. There's a nice pass inside the zoo deflected at the rim. They're in Utah. Tripped up by Zoo. They get it to Morris for the transition three. Hits short rebound back to Zoo and lays it in. Do, do just what you're supposed to do. If the opposing big man goes after the shot and tries to block it, Zoo should be free to go on the offensive play. To more of a playmaking role overall this season, but certainly tonight Mike Conley not playing with the knee injury as Leonard rises in the mid-range and knocks the numbers like kind of behind the curtain, even though his statistics don't jump off the page. His impact has been large. Jackson behind the defense and flushes it in. Jackson fronting Olenek, who has good position inside, but Morris taps it over to Markinen, who glides in. Nice play. Ball fake, and then Olenek knocks it free. Great defense there for Utah, and Horton Tucker is back the other way. Picked up by a back pedal in Morris. Conley stays at the point, veteran guy. You move Clarkson up as a starter, and then you have the youngster Sexton coming off the bench. Jackson misses a rookie, but he does impact the game. Talking about Kessler defensively for the Jazz. Jackson opening transition for the catch and shoot three. And he sent from the field at 47% from above the arc. Jackson with a rebound. Wall in overdrive. Challenging Clarkson to the rim and lays it in. Make it now four straight turnovers. Powell centers it to Wall. Lobs it back to Powell. 31-22 Clippers shooting 56% from the field. Horton Tucker fades and fires and fills it up with 2.2, leaving some meat on the bone here for the Clippers. Wall beats the buzzer. The shot has a chance. Oh, it goes in for Wall! 34-24 Clippers at the end of one. Clippers on the year, 8-1 and one with a double-digit lead. Utah, 3-4 and four when trailing by 10 or more. Kessler with a rebound. Leonard getting the start here in the second quarter. He had two points in that first frame. Draws a crowd. Good ball movement. Powell open for three. Let's it fly. Yes, sir. Up there by the young bull, Colin Sexton. Cuts the lead, 39-28. Batum open for three. Let's it fly. Bucket. Beasley misfires. Clippers rebound. Wall, sidestepping defenders to the rim, counted on a foul! All <laughs> the food to him. Like Steve Ballmer, you saw a shot. When, when he came into this team, the first thing he said is, we're going to be heavily in the minute. Roll it out instead of in. Vanderbilt. Back to Clarkson for the contested three. It's good, whether it's the corner. Back to Leonard. Wall for the rhythmic three. Hit one from half court. Knocks the Jackson, understandably so last year with the injury, but he has been phenomenal for Utah. Powell inside. Hangs. Absorbs the conference. It's a Vanderbilt who juggles him and ultimately loses it. Clippers out the power play. Coffee from the wing to the lane. To the rim and lays it in. Last five and a half quarters, 52-35. They are out in front of Utah. Clarkson for three and knocks it down. Then the Powell. For three, it's gone again. For and now, Markin baseline drive, strong drive, and what a finish! He has a team high 12 turnover. Markman back the other way, but can't get the ball. Clarkson transition three. I mentioned it earlier. Shoots the three. No lead is safe, but they have struggled from the three-point line. Broadcasters jinx him. Something to pay attention to. They've got five triples here with four and a half to play in this second quarter. Jackson forcing the issue. Puts it up and doesn't pull the trigger instead. Wrestling with Sexton finds man in the corner. Top potato three in the air is good. Oh, so for three and lets it fly. Running rebound goes to Wall with Beasley to beat. It's a foot race. Plays back to Jackson. And he Team Utah still playing very well offensively. They are 10 of 18. Clarkson responsible for a few of those buckets. A whirling dervish in the drive behind the back. Hangs blocked by Fontecchio, but recovers. 
Jackson, the catch and shoot three. What's your number of Linux has three personal fouls, and I liked it. Ty Lue trying to get and Leonard involved early on. Kawhi just one for six again. It's the physical eye test that we're worried about right now. Kawhi I certainly liked it when his shots fall. Oh, Linux finding the better. Jackson on a good closeout by Vanderbilt. Stutter steps around him. Gets to the rim and lays it. Let's go! Zoo controls. Couple of block shots for Zoo here tonight. Leonard all alone for the point. Alone in the end zone. Leonard just. Man to the rim and lays. About scored the Clippers 14 to 12 here in this third quarter on four of nine shooting. Clippers. Five of eight, Leonard from the wing to the lane to the rim. And misfires and Markinen has the rebound for the Utah Jazz. Down by eight, Olenek pulls up for three. It's in the air and it's good. Clarkson gets around his defender and wall, but then met at the free throw line by Jackson. They give to Beasley. He has been get it. After the Clippers have led by as many as 17, Beasley for three. Markinen with a tap in, no, gets his own rebound, counted at a foul. Get downhill, stumbles, loses his footing. Ball is up for grabs. Seven to shoot for Utah. Horton Tucker for three. It's good. Inside, loses the ball. Hit on the head. He's down. And the Jazz look to attack. Marks it to Beasley. Dribble drive into the paint. Spoon feeds Kessler for the flush by himself. Tough pass for Zuda handle just a bit out in front of him. Horton Tucker and the Jazz back the other way. Clarkson. Markinson lays it in. A little bit over five minutes, so that size difference has really helped Utah. Leonard bounces into Markin and then steps back. Oh, control tap by Coffee. Clippers reload. Powell spins into the paint. Wrap around to Batum underneath and lays it in. It's the go to here in this sequence. He understands their double team in Kawhi. Jackson gets around his defender and lays it in. Counted on a foul. And Reggie Jackson. Coffee spots an entry to the house, a double clutch, and he lays it in. To help him out, got a W for him. Beasley for three in the lead. Oh, and the strings make it. With eight to shoot. Kawhi up and under, swing pass to Coffee down the lane to the rim, hangs inside. Oh, he hits again. Into the paint, seven to shoot for Olenek, a pin out of control, recovers. Lays it in. Down by two. Thank you, Christina. Powell sheds his defender. Dominate hangs inside. No rebound. Bad enough and not in. Oh, and the third effort. Zuzu wasn't in the cylinder. And that could have been a turnover. And there it is. Batum Levelicity takes it to the house and lays it in. We on sure. Batum gives it up for grabs. Batum sinks his talons into it. The basketball trying to keep it alive and Clippers did a very good job in that possession defensively. Reggie for three. It's good. Three pretty good defenders on the floor right now for the Clippers. I don't need one to slow down Clarkson off the window and in. And defend. And the beats the Zubats guy, not too bad either. Jackson skips off the screen, plays back to Zubat. Got a little fancy. Swings it to Horton Tucker. Not much of a threat from outside, even though he's hit one already. Spins, fades, fires. What a shot! Clippers have three wins this year when trailing by two or more possessions in the fourth quarter. Reverse layup for Norman. Ten. Horton Tucker for three. It's his second make. Good defense by Horton Tucker. Jackson able to get around it. Bounces to Coffee. Stripped on the way up. Clarkson has it. Beasley in the corner for three. Rebound reeled in by Coffee. The shot clock is dark. And Coffee is fouled. I think we predicted it. And some of the combatants, we did not. And then is it certainly the Utah Jazz. Marketing inside, no, in Olenek. By Lou had a hunch. His hunch was right. If you have a hunch about Amir Coffee, it's, it's going to usually work out pretty well. We saw it last year. He's a player. That'll do it. Clippers battle back after trailing by seven in the third.